Here we see inspiration. We see intrinsic motivation. But it's not a boat what I see. It's a boat what you see. Now look in this mirror and tell me again what you see. You see striving for excellence. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no. After you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what we you want to do. Heart. All in all, we see healthy individuals. And although these Hollywood stars are playing their role in the movie, we could logically assume they'll be living a high quality life for a long time. All because of exercise. Heart disease, the number one killer of both men and women in the U.S. and U.K. It's no joke, but we as a population can lessen the amount of deaths if we are aware of our bodies. This right here is your heart, a big involuntary muscle, luckily, because we don't have to consciously tell ourselves to pump blood. Notice how, as we exercise, our heart pumps faster. This is our heart rate increasing. So the more intensity in our exercise, the faster our heart beats. Also, it pumps deeper blood, the stroke volume, meaning with each beat, more blood is being ejected around through the vessels to the body. Arteries carry the oxygenated blood around to muscles and other parts of the body that need it. Most of the blood is carrying oxygen to your muscles that are working harder. This is crucial. Oxygen is a necessary nutrient to sustain life. When you exercise, the heart manages to pump double the amount of blood around the body. Your muscles consume 80% of the blood flow during exercise, and when you're sedentary just sitting there, only a measly 10%. What is a heart attack though? A heart attack is a sudden blockage in the arteries that carry oxygen-rich blood to the heart. So in essence, this simply makes a lot of sense in itself why exercise is such a fantastic preventative measure to cardiovascular disease. Without exercise, cholesterol plaque builds up and when a part of the plaque breaks off into the center, platelets combine in one area and they obstruct the vessel, reducing blood flow significantly. Think of like a bouncer standing in the doorway. The heart starves for oxygen and becomes damaged because it can't pump properly anymore. One of the things I don't want you to leave here without is considering joining the amazing American Heart Association's Heart Walk. In your area, there will be dates where huge numbers of people will raise money to help in research and then participate in walking to show support in honor of their loved ones or people they know who are living with a heart condition, as well as people who have died from a heart condition. Only 5% of the U.S. vigorously exercises. That's one of the reasons, compared to many countries in Europe, the U.S. has a higher number of people diagnosed with obesity. Please, don't underestimate the importance of nutrition. Combining exercise and nutrition is your best bet to looking, feeling, and functioning much better. Although a challenging and progressive fitness plan is ideal, don't worry about having to do exactly what the people in the beginning of this video were doing. Just try to get in at least 30 minutes a day, even if it is spaced out. Make it fun. Do some gardening if that's your thing. People of all ages can and should exercise. Help in the fight against cardiovascular disease and stroke. Please don't be still, make a move. A change for the better starts with you. Let's unite. I like to say exercise makes the heart grow fonder.